This video will demonstrate a rotator cuff repair using the Dynaseal procedure. This patient has a full thickness supraspinatus tendon tear. The patient is positioned in the beach chair position. Viewing is performed from a lateral portal. Through an accessory anterolateral portal, the rotator cuff tear is inspected after the greater tuberosity has been prepared to a bleeding bony surface. A punch is placed through the accessory portal and a 4.5 millimeter double loaded anchor is placed. The anchor has one limb of tape and one number two dynacord. A second anchor is placed anteriorly. Through a posterior portal an ideal suture shuttle is placed and through it a chia passed. A passing suture will be retrieved and through that passing suture the tapes and suture will be loaded and passed through the posterior portion of the supraspinatus tendon. The process is repeated anteriorly. Again the suture shuttle is placed with the chia. Through it a passing suture is placed. The tape and sutures are loaded through the passing suture and then shuttled through the supraspinatus tendon. One limb of each colored suture is retrieved out of the lateral portal. Sutures are tied together and a series of alternating half hitches used to secure the knot. The suture is cut and the corresponding sutures from the anterior and posterior anchor are then retrieved from the lateral portal. The free limbs of suture are separated taking care not to entangle them with the previously tied suture. Once separated, they are alternately pulled to shuttle the tied suture into the subchromial space. The medial portion of the supraspinatus tendon is nicely reapproximated. An arthroscopic knot pusher is used to deliver several half hitches to tie the corresponding limbs of suture. Once tied, they will be cut. Contral picks are then used to perform marrow stimulation in the more lateral portion of the greater tuberosity. Again through the lateral portal, one limb of tape from each anchor is retrieved and then passed through the kite in a helix advanced self-punching anchor. The tapes are pulled through the anchor and with some tension applied the anchor is delivered through the cannula and into the subacromial space. The anchor is malleted in place to the first or second thread. Appropriate tension is applied on the tape and the anchor is deployed. The threads in the more proximal portion of the anchor are then engaged with the most lateral aspect of the cortex the tapes are cut. The remaining two permatape are removed from the portal incorporated into an anchor and the anchor inserted into the more posterior portion of the greater tuberosity. Once inserted the inserter is removed and the tapes are cut. A final view demonstrates that the supraspinatus tendon is nicely reapproximated and there is no evidence of subacromial impingement. Thank you.